Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can place more text onto one page with a variety of different techniques. So I've just placed a default document up here with normal margins that you'd expect. So the first thing you can do is actually change your font on your document. And I'm just going to select all of this font just to show you how this can work. So for example, if I click on the fonts here, and let's say for example, I chose this font, you can see how much additional space this font takes up. And that's because there's a little bit more room between each character and each line. And yet if I go to another font, let's say this one here, you can see how it's a lot smaller, a lot more condensed. It's still font 12, and obviously you might want to make that slightly bigger, but that's just an example to show you how you can just change the font and make a big difference. However, if you don't want to change the font, there's a number of other things that you can do. The first thing is you can go up to layout, you can go to margins, and you can simply go down and click on narrow, and you'll see that the margins have decreased either side and at the top and bottom, allowing you to place more text on your page. Now you can customize these margins, so if I go back to normal, first of all, you can use your rulers. If you can't see your rulers, go to view and check on ruler. And then all you do is hover between the gray and white section. You'll see your cursor changes, click, and then you can simply drag up that line and customize your own margins. And then you can do exactly the same at the bottom and then at the sides as well. And this one's a bit more tricky. What you might have to do is just move one of these out of the way. It will adjust your text, but don't worry, you can move it back. Then you can make that cursor change to a double headed arrow. Then you can move it over and just move that little triangle back again. And again, you can do that with this side as well. Now doing it this way doesn't always mean it's that accurate because obviously you're just doing this by eye. Alternatively, let's go back. You can actually go to layout click on margins and go down to custom margins. And here you can see we haven't changed the top one back to its original, but it would have been 2.54. And here you can make sure that they are exactly the same size for top and bottom, left and right. And you can just put your own in if you want to. So if I want to adjust them all to one centimeter, I can do that. It will give you a little preview here. And then you can simply click OK. Sometimes you will have this sign that will come up that says actually that one centimeter is a little bit too close to the edge. You may not be able to print it. You can either fix it or ignore it. So if I just go to ignore for now, you can just see how that will affect your page. Alternatively, and this, this will work with some font and maybe not others, and this may be just a last resort, but if I just select all of my text, go to the Home tab, click on this icon here, click on the drop down, and go down to line spacing options. At the bottom here, you'll see line spacing. This refers to the gap between each of your lines of your document. If you click on the drop down and you go down to exactly, at the moment it's 12 points, which is probably the lowest number that you can get away with. And then click OK. You can see how I've decreased the spaces between my lines. I've managed to get all of that text onto one page. So there are three different ways there that you can get extra text onto your page. I hope that one of them has helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.